Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Double Deuce back here. Uh, today I had a little problem. And uh, it's an ongoing problem. That, you know, we're going to talk about it. And I have tried and asked and sent emails. And um, I think everybody knows what's going on here. If they see the oil pans or the lower covers off my uh, L400. So let's get to the root of the problem. Okay, so we're back with the problem. So I had spent pretty much the last few days trying to get everything done in my life so I can go out and get some throttle time in with my, uh, my Jeep, you know. Uh, I was out running it there last time. I was getting everything dialed in. I was getting some pretty good RPM, some speed. Then they changed over to the J Concepts tires. I wanted to take it out and see what kind of, you know, how we handle those and yada yada blah 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 and I went out and I uh, started the thing up and it ran for a second and then just locked up and uh, so I kind of figured I had a crankshaft failure so it's broken I'll zoom in on it here right there right in the middle just where they all break you'll be able to see the the cranks moving around in between that rod right there this side's connected on the journal and it's broke right here right in the center same place like my last one broke so now i have sent a message to toy and engine and asked if they were going to come up with a center bearing for these things to try to figure things out you know and uh i, I got no response out of them but I guess they're too busy pumping out other engines that you know they should be concentrating on taking care of this problem there's a lot of people that bought these L400s and I want to apologize to everybody I feel I'm responsible I was the one that hyped these things up and everything else and then all of a sudden uh, you know I'm standing here with pie on my face and these guys ain't doing nothing about it so toy and engine if you're listening fix the problem that's all we ask. We buy your stuff. We stand there with you. You know, we make things out of it. We have a great time with it. And just when you start getting these things, you know, where you're happy with them after you build them, because you could spend, you know, hundreds of hours on a build just to have a bad crankshaft. And you guys are just totally ignoring the problem, man. It's just like, it's not cool. It's really not cool. Um, I didn't buy a toy and engine on my last one I bought you know why because you're not taking care of the problem I mean so I went with the other new two-cylinder engine I, I really wanted to get another one of these or a v4 but the cost versus the heartache it's not worth it for me to do it um, so now I have to tear this all apart I have to order a crankshaft now now this is the second crankshaft in this engine the first one broke this one just broke. Um, I didn't even get maybe half a gallon of fuel through it before it, this one broke. Um, so it did not hydro lock because it started right up and was running. And all of a sudden it just clacked and shut off. So that tells me there's faulty metal in this crankshaft and there's way too much flex in there. So just to let you guys know out there. I hate to burst your bubble, but until this is taken care of, I think this is going to be an ongoing problem. Now, I had just dialed in my Skyline because I got one of these L400s in my Skyline. Now, I got that thing dialed in where it runs really great and everything. I'm afraid to drive it now because I know I'm going to have to yank the thing back apart again. And then that one there was a custom build, so I got to tear the whole front suspension out of it, and it's just a nightmare to get to the engine. But... You know, a simple, you know, some main journals on the crank there that bolt in to maybe the, the bottom of the oil pan or something. Anything that will hold that thing together and keep it from flexing, you know, it, it's, it would help. So, anywho, enough of that. You guys have a good one, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more content up for you that's, that's constructive. And... Uh, 
you guys take care, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you want, and I'll catch you later. Adios.